Here on Lake Champlain, and uh, I just came across a really big dead lake sturgeon. Not really sure what the deal is. I contacted the sheriffs and DEC. They're not really interested in it. I sure the hell am. I've been out here a lot of years. I've never seen anything like this. I'm going to try to get the boat right over it here and show you just how big this thing is. So here we are. I mean, look at the size of that thing. This video doesn't do it justice, but it is the size of a man. It's like a, like a tuna fish or a, or a dolphin out here. Look at that thing. Probably, well, I'm 5'7". I would say that, I would dare say, that's, that may be a 10-footer. And Jesus, I mean, I can't, couldn't get my arms around that thing. That's how big it is. It's unfortunate, but man, that's an old, old fish right there. Pretty crazy. You see his head and everything. And it's just, I mean, the head of that thing is the size of a beach ball. Just unbelievably huge. Of all the sites on Lake Champlain, one of the rarest just came into focus when residents in Isle Lamotte reported a dead sturgeon washing ashore. The armored fish have been around since the time of the dinosaurs, but today are considered endangered in Vermont. These live at Burlington's Echo Lake Aquarium and Science Center. But they are a bottom feeder, so they do kind of stick to themselves. Jen Dean helps care for the sturgeons in captivity and says this new massive specimen, estimated at around 6 feet 9 inches long, is surely one of the largest seen in anyone's memory. These guys can live to be over 100, 150 years old. Um, that's great news that we have some out there that have blasted through what has been a dip in the population. State wildlife biologists froze the fish and will eventually test it for its sex and age as part of ongoing species restoration work. Meanwhile, in the Burlington area, fascination with a legendary Lake Champlain creature known as Champ can be seen in statues and in the beloved mascot of the local minor league baseball team. So a tangible lake monster is now rekindling interest in that old lore. It was mysterious. Hannah Langsdale believes she saw Champ while giving a lake tour aboard the Friendship. Was it a sturgeon like these? Perhaps. Langsdale's not convinced, and visitors remain curious. Everybody asks about it, especially the young kids. really uh, gets them interested and excited about what might be out there. And the Vermont Department of Fish and Wildlife says it really appreciates that those folks in Isle Lamotte called the biologists to let them know about this discovery. The department says knowing where in the lake the sturgeon are is really important to ongoing research into this endangered species. On Lake Champlain, I'm Jack Thurston, NBC5 News.